What up, y'all? I have a little message for Marty and Michael and everyone out there trying to set me up. Marty, you're the reason I'm in this. You're the reason that I'm in this court case. You're the one I fought, motherfucker. You want to know how? I'll tell you how. You're at fault for all this. Because if you hadn't have fucking trolled me like you did, if you hadn't have mentally screwed with me, and you hadn't have bullied me the way you fucking did, and spread all those rumors and those lies, and illegally entrapped me like you did, I wouldn't be in this position. Because if you had not fucking illegally entrapped me, because you were fucking jealous as shit, and wanted me to your fucking self, if you hadn't done all that, I wouldn't be in this position. And you wanna know how? Because if you had not held, if you have not, if you had not illegally entrapped me, these rumors wouldn't have been spread. And then this whole thing with this douchebag vigilante. This dude named Aware Myself committing vigilanteism on top of using fighting words on my home property. I wouldn't be in this position of possibly going to jail. So Marty, I blame you. And Michael, I blame you for being stupid enough to follow in his footsteps. And being an opportunist and going along with shit. After all the shit I did for you, motherfucker. All the shit I did for you. All the stuff I helped you out with. All the fucking images that I helped you create, that you use. All the audio files, the hundreds of fucking pieces that I did for you. Because I respect you as a business person. And what you do. Hmm. You made yourself and your family look like a total fucking joke by following Marty and what he's doing. And I know a lot of people are sitting there saying, oh, what does that do with the situation? Everything, motherfuckers. Everything. Because Marty, and like I said, if you hadn't have gotten fucking jealous and greedy and used Nashville Mafia to illegally entrap me, I wouldn't be in this position. So yeah, motherfucker, I blame you. Oh, and as for aware of myself, dude, you had no business being here. You came here to start a riot with my neighborhood, committing vigilantism, and you decided to use fighting words on your shitty little sign. See, what y'all don't understand is that I was in the right in what I did. I had every right to do what I fucking did. Every right. Because what that man used on that sign was fighting words. Those words are considered a fucking weapon. 
What he did is called vigilanteism, which is a fucking crime. That's illegal. Not to mention starting a fucking riot. To where my, half my neighborhood came down my street and attacked me and my family. It may not have been physical attacks, but there were still attacks nonetheless. And I'm not allowed to sit here and be silent. Because what that man did was wrong. Now, should I have come out there with a the bat? Not necessarily. But when you show up to my dwelling and my house, and you commit vigilanteism after inciting a freaking riot and using fighting words on a sign, those fighting words are considered a weapon. Don't blame me, look it up. What that man did was incite a riot, used fighting words, and then backed it all up with vigilanteism, trying to make himself to be the good guy and me the bad guy. Not to mention the police acting unprofessional as fuck. Sitting there not giving me a chance to freaking explain what went down. Or get my side of the story. They were being prejudiced against me. If anybody deserves to be in jail, it's that motherfucker that showed up here, not me. Joseph Lawson deserves to be arrested, not me. I didn't do anything wrong. I was defending my fucking dwelling. I was defending my home and my family. From people that were inciting a fucking riot. And since when is defending your family a fucking crime? When is defending your family against somebody who incited a riot and used fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante? Since when is defending your family like that against that shit a crime? Last time I checked, a man has the right to defend his own. A man has the right to defend his home, his dwelling, his family, and his property. See, what y'all don't realize, that man came onto my property. And then when I swung the bat, he stepped off of our property. Prove me wrong, motherfuckers. Prove me wrong. I dare y'all to prove me wrong. Because none of y'all motherfuckers were there when he first showed up. He first stepped foot in our yard. Which gave me every right to do what I motherfucking did. Not to mention, he came there to incite a riot. He came there to be a vigilante. He came there using fucking fighting words. Which gave me every reason to do what I did. Did I want to? No. But when you show up here, you use fighting words, you pretend to be a vigilante, and you try to incite a riot against me and my family, guess what? I have every right to do what I need to do to protect my family and my people and my dwelling. So did the Akron PD screw you? 
You guys are crooked as fuck. You guys are prejudiced against me. All you ever do is sit there and laugh at me. Like I don't fucking matter because I ain't got money. Well, wrong answer, motherfucker. You can't just walk around and treat someone like shit just because they ain't got money. At the end of the day, motherfucker, we're all humans. We're all people. We all deserve the same respect as each other. And yeah, I'm fucking pissed. Because right now, because of you dumb motherfuckers, I could be spending six months in prison, which I'm fighting like hell to get out of. Because I know I didn't do anything wrong. I was protecting myself, my property, and my family. And my dwelling. And every man has a right to fucking do that. Every man has a right to protect his family, his dwelling, his home, his family, and himself. Like I said, Joseph Lawson showed up here to incite a riot, use fighting words, and with those fighting words, he did what he did and tried to be a vigilante. Which all three of those things are illegal. So I dare someone to contest that. Don't believe me? Look up the laws. Prove me wrong. I dare you. Because none of you can. Because I was in the right in doing what I did. It may have been a little bit extreme. But guess what? When you threatened me a couple months prior by having a picture of shotgun shells saying you're going to show up here and then you show up here to incite a riot using fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante and you're up in my face and my family's faces, guess what? I have, every, I have every right to do what I need to do to protect myself. Because I did feel threatened by that guy. I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know what this dude was going to pull. So Marty, I hope you're happy with what you started, motherfucker. Because you're the one that started all this five to six years ago. And it needs to stop. Now. I'm tired of being quiet about this shit. Like I said, I don't deserve this. My family don't deserve this. And I don't need to be in this situation. I'm just a normal dude out here trying to make music and do anything I can to make an honest living. I don't deserve this at all. And if you think I do, well... You're welcome to prove me wrong.